everyone, it's Jared here, and today we're going to do a drum set warm-up. There's a few different exercises that I like to do around the kit just to get warmed up, to develop speed, to develop control, and I think you're going to absolutely love them as well. So if you're not in a drum set, you need to get to a drum set because this is something we do together. Okay, it's just a five-minute warm-up. We're going to do five different exercises for one minute each. All right? So here we go. If you're not in the kit, just push pause, go to a kit. But for those of you that are, let's get going. So this is the beginner video. Okay, once you finish the beginner video, you can go ahead and move on to the intermediate. And I'll say you need this sheet music. So there is a link right below this video on where you can get the sheet music. Go ahead and get that. You can either print it out or look at that. Okay, so the first um, exercise is at 60 beats per minute and it's basically just 16th notes. Four in the snare, four on the high tom, four on the mid tom, four on the low tom. Now our feet throughout all of these warm-ups are going to be just alternating on the eighth notes. So one and two and three and four and. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. So that's our first rotation, and we're going to do all these all at 60 beats per minute. So the next one, we're basically doing two in the snare, two in the high tom, two in the snare, two in the low tom. So it would sound like this. Okay, so you're moving a lot faster. Let's do this at 60 beats per minute for a minute. One, two, three, four. Alright, so, you know, it might be really easy now, you might be like, this is a breeze, no problem. Once you get to the faster tempos and some of the further down exercises, you're going to see your body start to really, really warming up, okay? So the next one we're going to do a single paradiddle, and if you just look at the sheet music, you'll see exactly where the notes are being placed on the toms, okay? So basically for every rotation of the single paradiddle, we're putting uh, one of the hits on the toms, so it goes... So first, learn that pattern, and then you can come and do this warm-up. Okay, let's do that. 60 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. Try and go so 
those notes a little bit. Nice and even. Hitting the drums right in the middle. So hopefully you're still following along. The next one's going to get a little more challenging. Now remember, normally you do these all in a row. Like you don't stop in between them. You go from one to the next to the next. And you can do this for five minutes. You can do this for an hour straight if you want. And it's amazing how much better you'll get at orchestrating things around the kit using singles, uh, doubles, and single paradiddles. Okay, so next we're going to be doing a single stroke roll played as 16th note triplets. And every time those triplets kind of turn around, it goes right, left, right, and it goes left, right, left, we're going to be hitting a different tom. So, right, left, right, left. And so you're essentially practicing your triplets and building that melody again on the toms. Okay, your kick, uh, your feet are doing right, left, alternating eighth notes. So here we go. Let's do another minute together. Stick with me. It's like the worst drumming pun ever. Okay, here we go. Two, three, four. Ah, so a little bit more challenging now as far as speed goes. So for you that are saying, the other ones are so easy. Hopefully this is the challenge. It's good to have something that you do to warm up every day before you play the drums. You'll find that you learn stuff quicker if you're warm. Now we're into the final one. The final one is basically 30 second notes, and we're playing a double stroke roll. Now the right hand is going just between the snare drum and the floor tom, and the left hand is going between the high tom and the mid tom. So it looks like this. First, learn that pattern and then come back and do the warm up. Okay, so here we go. Do this for a minute. One, two, three, four. So you made it to the end of the five minute warm up. Now like I said, normally you would do this just in order, one after the other without stopping. But I really wanted to just talk a little bit about each pattern before we got right into it and just 
a lot of you maybe wouldn't understand exactly what was going on and what stickings I was doing and stuff like that. Now, once you get through this five minute warm up at 60, and then again at 70 or 65, and 70, 75, and you get hit 80, then you're at the intermediate warm up. Now, you can just go ahead and find the interme intermediate video, and you can practice the intermediate warm up along with me. All right, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you, you can use this before you play a gig, before you get into a real long practice routine or practice session or something like that. And uh, I hope it's something that really actually helps you. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.